miles down the road. Thanks, mister. I hope to get to Wawa tonight. I'm running behind schedule. So am I. So hang on. We're going to fight a forest fire. A forest fire? Hey, wait a minute. I'm looking for volunteers, kid. And you're it. I've been following the sun through the crossroads of my mind. Drifting down the highway, surprised by what I find. You never know how far you go until you find the way. So I ride the wind and chase the stars and look for the day. To day. I ride the wind and chase the stars and look for the day. To day. Ken. Ken Matthews. Nice to meet you, Ken. We're on a little holiday. Yeah. We've been all over the North Country searching for rocks. That's our hobby. In faces passing by, I search for me and who I am and what I'm going to be. Yes, I search for me and who I am in the faces passing me. We're on our way home. First home. Oh, near Paris Town. That's where the judge has his court. Judge? I've never met a judge before. <laughs> I would say that's a sign of good luck. Well, this is our summer home. Say, that's really something. We get a great deal of pleasure out of it. We try to get out on the road every weekend from early May to late November. We're part-time gypsies. <laughs> But the judge is going to retire in a few years. And then we'll be on the road ten months of the year. How about a cup of coffee? Sure, that'll be great. Well, it'll only take a few minutes. Go ahead, son. Thanks. Sometimes you drive hundreds of miles with somebody, and he doesn't say a word. This looked like one of those times. I got to thinking, what kind of guy is he? <laughs> Bit of a cowboy, impatient, every foot on the gas. Probably played guard in the high school football team. Has a small business, hardware maybe. Married, overweight, worried about his kids, who he doesn't understand, and who don't understand him. shame. What they're doing to this country, you know what I mean? What's that, mister? And they let them away with it. I'd find them, throw them in jail. 
hell, they've had their own way long enough. And it's guys like me who really love the country who suffer. I tell you, it's a crime. What's a crime, mister? I drive 600 miles to the cottage, and what do I find? Empty beer cans and orange peels floating in a sea of soap, suds, and oil. You can't drink the water. You can't eat the berries off the bushes. And with the smoke and smog and sulfur fumes, you can't breathe the air. <laughs> it's a beautiful country. They're destroying it. Some guys have no consideration for their fellow man. <clears throat> Something to say, kid? No, mister. I guess you've said it all. Extreme fire warnings are posted all along the north shore of Lake Superior. The temperature this afternoon should reach 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Hi, Joe, I think it is. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Any luck this morning? I mean, with your rock collecting. Oh, not too bad at all, Ken. Where do you get all of your information? Well, when we first started, we had to look it all up in a book. Yeah, we have books on everything. Uh, to identify birds, to tell us about flowers, plants, trees, books on insects, snakes, fish, wildlife. Uh, we wouldn't go anywhere without them. <laughs> We're too old to keep it all in our heads. I hope you like chopped egg sandwiches, Ken. If not, we've got cold roast beef potato salad, peanut butter, and sweet pickles. Oh, anything at all. That's great. Do you recognize Kakabeka Falls? I sure do. Actually, when you learn how to use a book and where to look for information, you don't have to keep all the facts in your mind. Well, Flora, we seem to be doing all the talking here. How about you, son? What are your interests? Well, I like working with mechanical things, you know, lawnmowers, cars, motorcycles. I'm taking a course at school on small engines. Why don't you spend the day with us, Ken? Well, I really should be moving We're on. We're going to turn off the road just up ahead. We're going to search for an abandoned copper mine at a place called Miller's Creek. Show them the map, Laura. We got it from an old prospector in Sioux Lookout. We'd like to have you with us if you can spare the time. We might even turn you into a rock hound. <laughs> Sorry, but I'd better just keep on going. We understand. But we hope you find whatever it is you're looking for, son. Thanks. Oh, isn't that all cut off up ahead? Yes, it looks like it. Thanks for the ride. Thanks, Mike. I had breakfast in the wire from the day. That was 65 cents. Lunch with the Corbett's. That was a lucky break. I bought a tin of wieners and beans and had an apple for dinner. 37 cents. A dollar and two cents for food today. That's good. Back on the road, past the White Lake Provincial Park, the ancestral home of the Ojibwa and the Cree. In a forest of jack pine and white birches. A nice place to camp, but I had to push on.